Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC review video. Today we are taking a look at quite a special series here for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And really this series doesn't have an official name, but on the card itself, you can see on this one, it does say Monster Trucks Racing. Uh, so we're just going to call this set the Monster Trucks Racing Set. And this set of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks is exclusive to O'Reilly Auto Parts stores. And... Some states I know don't have those and also countries, but I was lucky enough to get these from my friend Phil who helps me run the BrianZPatton.com museum website where we put all the monster trucks ever produced onto. So there's kind of a double purpose here of these being documented plus these being reviewed into my collection. So thank you to Phil for supplying these. I did pay for them, but for hunting them down at O'Reilly's in his state of Arizona, my local stores told me they could not order these for me. So these are the trucks here. You can see the first three, which are the Mopar Dodge Charger RT, the K&N Filters Podium Crasher, the Gulf Pure Muscle, the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker, and the Borla Camaro. So there are five trucks in this set. And as you can tell, they're a little more premium than typical Hot Wheels monster trucks. We do have frequent premium lines by Hot Wheels monster trucks, such as the WWE truck SpongeBob, and also the Super Mario trucks this year. And last year we did get similar sets of WWE trucks, but this year we're receiving these premium, I would almost call them adult collector style trucks. And this is exactly what I hoped Hot Wheels would do with their contract. Go ahead and use the Hot Wheels style of branding and apply them to their Hot Wheels monster trucks line. And this is perfectly matched to that. So as you can see, each truck has its own sponsor correlated to it. So we have Mopar for Dodge, we have K&N for Podium Crasher, Pure Muscle with Golf, we had the Borla Camaro, and like I mentioned, the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker. And we're gonna start with the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. So it's kind of a double uh, sponsorship here with the Mopar and Dodge Charger, and same with the Camaro and Borla. But this is the Dodge Charger here. As you can see, they also went with a premium style tire, which is the Redline tire. And as Hot Wheels collectors know, and if you guys don't know this, this is a little insight into Hot Wheels, uh, the Redline Club is a exclusive club membership that you can get. I believe, I'm not part of it, so I'm just kind of assuming from the outside that you can buy Hot Wheels cars that are exclusive, very limited edition cars, and they have this red stripe on them. This is also a classic Hot Wheels uh, symbol, essentially, from the original set of Hot Wheels that was ever produced. So it's a very uh, symbolic thing for Hot Wheels, and for them to have it on their Hot Wheels monster trucks is just really, really awesome. So you can see they have indicated here through putting red lines on these tires that these are indeed a special set. I've also heard rumor that these are very limited edition. Apparently the O'Reilly distribution centers are only getting very small amounts of these trucks for Labor Day um, and that's it. Although there hasn't been any heavy advertising on these yet. So these are kind of a mysterious set of trucks that we don't really know the full extent of how rare they're gonna be just yet. But here's the insert card. You can see Mopar, uh, here's the back, here's the front. And the card art has the actual car uh, in truck form on there. You can see the red line tire, uh, the sky there. And on the back, here are the stats. The stats are the same as a normal Dodge Charger RT. There's the back of the card with the other four trucks. So also available. You'll notice there is no O'Reilly Auto Parts logo on here, signifying it as an O'Reilly Auto Parts exclusive but it definitely is, so far, to our knowledge, an O'Reilly Auto Parts exclusive. So we're gonna unbox this first one, number one of five, the Mopar Dodge Charger RT. And there's the truck. I wanna take a look at the card art here. Uh, they always do some pretty cool card art with their Hot Wheels exclusive lines. And this is another case of that for their Monster Trucks line this time. So you can see there, a pretty awesome illustration of the Dodge Charger RT Mopar edition. And here's the insert, nothing too special about it but it is pretty cool. And then here is the truck itself. I just pushed it up in my studio, but here it is, the Mopar Dodge Charger RT, uh, possibly my favorite out of this entire set. 
As you can see, the colors are fabulous. The Redline tires really make this set itself, all five of them, come together as an exclusive. Uh, I just love the tires. These are awesome. It also has chrome rims. And as you can see, it has a charcoal roll cage with a chrome chassis. Uh, nothing on the back here, but the front grille is painted in purple. And the hood here uh, has the Mopar uh, logo. It has some purple uh, detail. And if we look at the paint color, it's a fabulous emerald green um, a little bit brighter than emerald, but it's a really nice metal flake green paint scheme with a black Hot Wheels logo. There's the Dodge uh, logo there as well. Monster trucks, the zoomies on the side. The roof is black and we have the back here with the Mopar and Hot Wheels logo with kind of like a paint splatter effect on the sides and the top. And here's the other side with the Mopar. So there's the look at the tires and the truck itself. Just an awesome set, like I mentioned. Next up on the list is the k and Filters Podium Crasher. Another awesome sponsorship to have on board here. And the stats are on the back. You can see right there, uh, the same as a normal Podium Crasher would typically be. Uh, and then you can see a lot of sponsors on here. Uh, actually, some of these are related to designers actually, which are pretty cool. Um, so if you notice any names there that are famous Hot Wheels designers or other people, um, tell me in the comments, but I'm not seeing any that I recognize on this truck sponsors, but there's the back. Here's the front. Let's unbox it right now. The K&N Filters Podium Crasher uh, on the trophy truck body. And this is an awesome one. I love the rim and beadlock choice, the black beadlock with the orange rim. And then of course the red line tire to completely uh, just make this thing stand out. There is the side panel. You can see those same sponsors, the fake sponsors are on the side there with that awesome orange and black body. The KNN sponsorship uh, logo right there. The Hot Wheels logo, another one of those fake ones. And then we have the uh, two zeros with the monster trucks and the roof there also has two zeros. It also has an orange windshield with the KNN logo on the hood with the Hot Wheels logo. The front grille is printed, which is very nice. And here's this side. And then the tailgate has another print here with the 00, zero Hot Wheels logo and the black and orange. And then the uh, roll cage is black and the chrome chassis, of course. And this is just an awesome one. Um, I'm really debating whether or not this is my favorite now because of the color choice. Out of the box, this thing is awesome. So, And next up is number three of five, a lot of collectors' personal favorite. I really like this one. However, the last two have been very nice. This is the Pure Muscle Golf Monster Truck. It is a C10 body, and here is the back here. The stats for a Pure Muscle are the same as usual. So we're gonna unbox it right now. And here is the truck itself. Like I mentioned, a very, very popular truck amongst the collectors. The Golf sponsorship I know has been a very popular one in the Hot Wheels mainline and special series. So it's nice to see it translated over into monster truck form, of course, to get those serious Hot Wheels collectors more involved in this new, obviously kid oriented, but still a uh, popular monster trucks line. So you can see here, here's the Golf with the orange fenders, the classic baby blue body, uh, a number 20 on the side there, the Golf logo, and check that out. It even has a Goodyear sponsorship on the fender with the Hot Wheels logo and the monster trucks logo. The tailgate has Hot Wheels Golf in 20 with the blue color. This side has the same stuff as the other one. The front grille is painted in black with the full orange wrap. And then on the hood here, we have Golf 20 with the roof stripe there as well. The rims are solid dark orange with the red line tires, of course, and a chrome chassis black roll cage. And next up is the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker, another very popular Hot Wheels sponsorship that they have. I know Moon Eyes is used a lot by them and to have a monster truck that's based off Moon Eyes now is just really cool. So here's the Moon Eyes. Here's the back of the card with the sunset gradient. We have the Moon Eyes logo and here's the stats for a normal bone shaker and we're gonna unbox it. Let's check it out. And here is the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker, an awesome color. I love the yellow, it's very bright, vibrant. And if it will focus, there we go. There's the Moon Eyes logo on the side there. Um, I'm noticing that this is actually a Tampo or water slide graphic truck. You can see how clear it is. Um, like they use on their Hot Wheels car premium lines, it is actually a clear graphics truck. It has a Tampo instead of a typical DJI print. So it's actually really clear. All of the decals are the same. Even the Monstrux logo is a decal, so it's super clear. Uh, there's the tailgate there, it says go with moon. And here's this side. 
and here's this again again super clear graphics because they are tampos instead of the typical print that they usually do by hot wheels even the roof is the same thing um the one thing that kind of irks me here is that they didn't change the font color over the stripe to be white like you would typically do with any design so it says moon eye in team instead of moon eyes racing team but because they're tampos you can see where they overlaid the two tampos because they're 3d so there it is there and uh, nothing back there it has a black insert for the motor and the skull of course for a typical bone shaker so if we come back to normal zoom and here's the truck again with the red line tires the chrome rims chrome chassis and a black roll cage and now on to the last one my least favorite just because of the concept that it's the camaro but this is the borla camaro by hot wheels for this line here's the tailgate here's the back of the box and let's unbox it and here is the truck itself, the Borla Camaro, the third Camaro that we are receiving from Hot Wheels. We have had two Camaros now in the past, one from the five pack that Target just got, the Hot Wheels All-Stars, and of course the first one, which came out a couple times now, which was just the classic orange. Um, I've already said my opinions about this truck. I don't like the proportions. I don't like how high it sits off the chassis, but they have used it for this sponsorship uh, premium line. So here's the Borla Camaro. It has a matte clear coat, which is really nice, a red stripe down the middle, and then it has 78 on the side, Hot Wheels logo, monster truck, some flames, uh, some red detail. The tailgate and license plate area is printed in with the lights printed as well. Very nice. And then the front grille is also printed with a Chevy logo headlights and full grill printing and that stripe wraps down beautifully great work with that and the red windshield and red um, back window as well is a nice touch but the Camaro body is not my favorite however I will say that this is my favorite Camaro that they released so far it's just really nice uh, it has a red roll cage and a chrome chassis with charcoal rims kind of reflective and those classic red line tires they fit the best probably on this truck because the colors match up and my determination now of which is my favorite definitely has to go to the k and n filters trophy truck um originally it was my mopar this one here that i liked the most but i have to go with the k and n and just based off of the design the concept the sponsorship itself and also the colors that they chose I love the Canon filters truck. So there is that one. This is my favorite. And my second favorite would have to be this one. My third favorite, Golf Fourth Bone Shaker. Uh, not bad on this one. I just, it's just not my favorite. And then of course, my least favorite being the Borla. But these have been awesome. These are really, really cool. I hope they do another set of these in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again to Phil for hunting these down. And hopefully you guys can find these in your O'Reilly Auto Parts or elsewhere. So I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan Monster Moose CD. Signing out.